welcome to Ladies Lounge. This is the Ugandan special, wow. and I'm so excited to be with these two lovely ladies. And we're going to kill it today for Uganda. I'm looking forward to that. Let's do it. Yeah, let's do it. How are you guys feeling? <laughs> we're good. We're ready to go. Let's go. Yes, it's been a good day so far. So most of you must know this face. I'm on the Buzz TV show, which is also Unbox Africa. So you're probably a bit familiar with me. My name is Claudia, and I'm a presenter for Vox. Mm. My name's Winnie, and you're probably going to think, what? I'm a sleep consultant. And I'm also the founder of the initiative called Ugandans Can. What, what's a sleep consultant? <sighs> Where do I start? <laughs> a sleep consultant simply is I teach babies and children how to sleep. That's a thing. That That's a thing. We need an entire we show. Need, we need to come <laughs> back yeah, I will to teach that. You about that. But for now, sleep consultant. Amazing. Yes. Wow. Well, guys, my name is Shamim. Um, I'm a, I'm a financial adjudicator, but however, I also do host a radio show on TGM Radio UK. Fantastic. What's yeah. that about? What's your show about? That's, that's just like two good friends talking about everything around life and around adulting and things that we don't understand. And it's just, it's just an open space to talk about everything and everything. Fantastic. Yeah, that's that's that. Like Have you ever had a topic on your show that was like, whoa, like too much. we Out have a there. lot. We have a lot. We have a lot of dilemmas, which make you, which really make you think and reflect. I'm good, you know. You know, I, I thought I had problems, but I've got life. I'm doing things correctly. <laughs> so, <laughs> honestly, it, honestly, it does make you really appreciate where you're at, life. Well, I mean, well today we're going to be talking about some triggering topics. Oh, warning. Um, are you Let's, ready? Yeah. You know, for, for all the Ugandan ladies out there, all the Ugandans out there, we're proud to be Ugandan, right? 100%. Oh, very. Should we greet them in Luganda? Oh, Why not? Yeah, you do it. Hey, pressure! <laughs> <laughs> okay. Who's going to do it? Who is it? But, um, yeah, there you go. We keep, we, we keep it real. <laughs> yes. Um, but it's such an honor to be here as Ugandans. And we have a number of questions tonight. Um, but the first thing we want to ask is this. In marriage... Should you ever keep a secret bank account? <laughs> Ladies. I'm burning up by this question. <laughs> <laughs> For so many reasons. I think a secret bank account, no. However, I feel like you should have savings, individual savings. I think the key word is secret, which is very just like, it, it, it annoys me. And it doesn't mean having your savings account that you must disclose how much money is in the account. However, you're both consciously aware of the states that you're both saving. Mm. And whether you come to a common ground where you're like, you know what, we want to buy a house. Mm. If it's something you can't do, and you can, you can be like, you know what, my savings are not quite there yet. But secret bank account, it's like you're preparing for, for the worst to happen. And for me personally, I can do that without having a secret bank account. I can have my savings and if something happens, I'll be good. I don't need to keep it a secret. I think secret is there. Yeah, you touched on that because I think like, when we first, I personally, speaking for myself, when I first read this question, yeah. I was like, yes, yeah, what are you same. talking about? <laughs> but I think when I went back and I said, okay, it can't be that simple. Let's go back to the question. And I read the question again and I came across the word secret. And I said, okay, I'm not for secrecy. I'm for privacy. The same yeah. way, like for me, when it comes to social media, if I'm to have a relationship right now, I'm for the privacy of that. I will protect that relationship because mm. we know how social media does mm -hmm. when it comes to relationships. So... It's not so much, it won't be a secret that I'm with someone, but it will be private. Yeah. So I feel like we need to kind of know the, the difference. difference between those two. So I'm for having a private account, but the other partner is informed that you have a private account. Mm -hmm. And they know they can't access it because it's in your name. You're not and an account holder. they just don't know how much money is in there. Exactly. Yeah. So I'm for the privacy. I'm not for the secrecy because no. when I'm struggling. <laughs> <laughs> but this is the thing. When I, when I ask, my group of ladies, and I said, look, this is the question we're going to be covering. Immediately, 80% ladies said, hell yeah. See. Why do you think See. on the onset, we're like, yeah. hell yeah, why is that? Because we, you don't want to be that girl, you don't want to be that woman that falls hard in love and then is left dry. <laughs> and the thing is, like, another key word in the question is marriage. However, in a relationship, I, I'm free to do what I want. If I have mm -hmm. a secret bank account, fair enough. And I actually have a friend 
who had a secret bank account and when she was getting married she disclosed it to her partner and guess what he had one too mm -hmm. you know yeah. what i mean and it's, it's one of those things where you need like in marriage i just feel like there should be no secrecy we should be open with each other sure. however like shimim said privacy like we can have privacy but mm. secret it's i feel like you're going into that marriage with ill intent there's yeah. no way that it's going to survive yeah. because you're going in with ill intent there's hmm. no good intentions that come and shimim from. The question is, you know, we said secret bank account. Is that money being saved for you and your husband? No, or is not. that for... <laughs> so who's that money see. for? See, for secret. Who's that money there now for? Now that you brought that up, because you guys did ask me <laughs> if ever on the radio station we had any crazy dilemmas or any crazy topics. Okay. I can tell you one. Okay. Yeah. So there was this dilemma that came to us. So this lady had been, while she was single, mm -hmm. she lost someone within her family and she inherited £20,000. Now, this was 10 years before she met her husband. She then went on to get married 10 years later. They had a child and she was a stay-at-home mother. Mm -hmm. Now, in being a stay-at-home mother, obviously the man is the breadwinner. He went out, he worked, he brought back, um, home the, the bacon, whatever they call it. He paid most of the bills, clearly. And to him, he was the person that had the money. He fell into financial difficulty. He decided to borrow money. He incurred interest, crazy amount of money. He went into debt. While this woman was sitting on 20,000 she was around. She was married to this man. And you've got a child. So when I tell, when we hear rationing food and you have 20,000 pounds in your account. And you're lying next to each other every night. And then, you're going to look at me and tell me you love me. And think about it. In that situation, she's the one that's a supporting him, encouraging him. And she's sitting there saying, you know, it'll be okay. Well, she's sitting on 20K. 20,000 pounds. So what are you planning to use this money for? Because I understand if you put this money into your account however many years ago, and it's been building interest, mm -hmm. you know, you build it. It's not, you didn't even invest it in anything. So it's stagnant in an account. It's just there. No one's telling you what to do with your money, but you, stand, you stood in front of God and you said you're going to be yeah. through thickness oh. and... Mm -hmm. Ooh. Well, she's still there. She has a left. However, that money... <laughs> she has a left. <laughs> that money she needs to leave. Her rainy day. If it wasn't oh, for oh, her, yeah. he wouldn't be in debt because he would be a oh, single man. Yeah. But he they, wouldn't be supporting the true. household. Would you say, because if you were to ask our parents, grandparents... I don't think this question would even be a question. Mm. Is it a generational thing that now in our time and yeah. era, it's come up? Mm. And if that's the case, is it coming up because of some of the things that people have seen? For example, you hear of brothers or sisters jetting off to, I'm not going to say in specific countries, <laughs> and going and finding themselves a, a next wife. Mm. Is it people now they're aware of that and with the help of social media that now they're thinking, do you know what? I'm going to have this secret stash right here. If you get any ideas that you and your yeah. friends want to go off and find Sandra somewhere, I'm going to, I'm going to be... Is it a generational thing? Is it because of the times that we're in? I don't, I don't know if it's so much a generation, I think, because ultimately it's the word secret that I don't understand. Because yeah. the reason why I don't see the need for the secrecy, because this account is in my name. You're not going to walk up to the bank teller and tell her, Shamim's yeah. account, I need to draw out however yeah. much money. You're not exactly. going to do You're not able to do that. So exactly. it, there's no need. You can't hold me like hostage and tell me you need to call the bank and tell them I'm coming over there to collect however much money. Yeah. You can't do that. So ultimately I'm still in control, even if, even if you know about yeah. it. I still decide what to do with that money that's mm. in the account. So the, na the need for the secrecy is what baffles me. I don't understand. You don't need to keep it a secret. No. So I was saying, ladies, that in a marriage, should one keep a secret bank account? No. We're saying you can have a private yeah. account, mm -hmm. but in a marriage, tell him about it or it's tell her yeah. about it. Oh, is there an ideal? Like in the ideal world... Mm. You know everything about me and hopefully know everything about me. And <laughs> my impossible, impossible. But the reality in which we find ourselves. You've seen the stories of women crying oh, and men, not just women. This is not just a, we're not going to be judgmental. It's yes. not just a woman or man thing. But both male and female where somebody, the other partner has honestly gone off 
Or sometimes they have two different families and this woman or this man is not aware of it. Is it the reality that we find ourselves in that this question should not even be a question, should be something that when in Uganda, before you get married, your Senga sits down and tells you, Senga, by the way, is your dad's sister. Dad's sister. When you're getting married, they tell you everything about married, what to do and what not to do. That's another whole show we should do. <laughs> However, um, that it's something that they would tell you on the offset, you know, my child, we're now in 2019 and this is what happens in the world. Mm. Make sure you got that secret bank account there. No. What, what, what should happen? Is it, oh. there, there's an ideal and then there's reality. No. What is it? The ideal is that you should have your finances in a good position, regardless whether you're in a marriage or not. And when you're in a marriage, you should continue to uphold your your individual finances and hopefully have an influence on your partners, like on each other, to continue having individual finances in a good position. This whole, like, you're not going to know everything about my account. You're not going to so, know everything yeah. about me full stop. Exactly. So you're going to know that this, like, I'm saving. However, I'm, it's not, I'm not going to tell you I'm saving this much this month, next month. I'm not giving you the maths. But when it comes to the point where we want to do certain things together, yeah. then the money's available on both parts. Mm. But this secret Are there exceptions? Is not for me. Will there be exceptions? That, you know, if you're married and you got you six kids like yours truly, you better have you a secret <laughs> bank account. And, you know, if you only got one baby and you ain't got no kids, tell him everything. Would there be exceptions to this? I rule? feel like we need to we need to appreciate that finances are important. Mm -hmm. Yes. Because yes, love is a huge part of a relationship, but so are finances. Because like I said, we're not gonna eat love. No. Like when we go in an empty house, <laughs> when we go when we go in an empty house, we're not gonna lay on love instead of a bed. Like all we we're gonna bring other things to the table that are also as essential as is whatever we share together. So I feel like it is important. But where we've come from, families, most of us anyway, hmm. whereby no one sat us down and told us nothing no. about saving. I don't. I didn't have a clue what interest rates and think all of this. Yeah. We I had no idea. So I'm having to learn from either mistakes, <laughs> my own mistakes. Or other people's mistakes or just try and error shoot let's mm. just go so i'm either having to learn from that or i'm just having to you know but i think it's, it's very important to make sure that those things are communicated before we get to marriage you know yeah, you fantastic. have to kind of be in the same well, look, ladies and gentlemen we're gonna come back we're gonna be right back and tune in because the next question oh. you're gonna want to hear this yes see you when we come back see you in a bit